my lady and chancellor, fellow graduates of the University of Hull, and your family and friends who are with you as you celebrate your achievements today, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, and the university's staff taking part in the ceremony's proceedings, it is my honour to accept the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. I'm sorry that my commitments prevented me from celebrating with you in person today, but let me stress that it's with great pleasure that I accept this award. Please be assured that my virtual presence doesn't lessen the pride and honour that I feel in graduating alongside the University of Hull's Science and Engineering class of 2020. Let me start by congratulating you all wholeheartedly on achieving your undergraduate, master's or doctoral degrees. Your hard work and determination has resulted in a valuable qualification that will help open doors to better career opportunities, higher skilled jobs or further studies. And of course, you will have made many friends for life along the way, as I have. Very well done to you all. When I embarked on my scientific career as a physicist at Imperial College in 1965, I didn't really appreciate that there would be a 40-year musical interval causing a delay in the completion of my doctorate in astrophysics until 2007. My keen passion for the subject hadn't waned along the way, nor had my desire to fulfil my academic journey. So I hope that this inspires you in some small way as you follow your own journey and have your own hiccups and discover that you can achieve, albeit sometimes with a little patience thrown in along the way, you can achieve what you wish for. I imagine some of you may be sitting here today facing your own career uncertainties. It might be worth stating the obvious, but it remains true that there really is no single correct path for you to take, any more than there was for me. If I may offer my advice, I would say when you make a step, make a big one. You can always come back and make another big one later. You graduate today having accrued high-level technical skills in the sciences, such as engineering and mathematics. These skills and knowledge that you have obtained are in high demand. And you will know that as part of its modern industrial strategy, the government made a commitment to putting STEM at the heart of education policy and at the foundation of our country's future economic success. Put simply, our country is actually desperate for highly skilled and able scientists like you. You have also gained other important, softer skills during your academic journey, and I'd like to take a moment to stress that these softer skills are just as crucial as your academic abilities. By this I mean those skills which allow you to integrate seamlessly into a society rife with different views. Your ability to enhance tolerance, welcome diversity and promote peace and ethical behaviour and to support humanity's quest for knowledge and understanding is a powerful byproduct of the outstanding education you've received at Hull. These soft skills are critical for society and I hope you will embrace that responsibility alongside the fundamental academic skills that you've acquired. If I can add my own personal feelings, I think qualities of compassion and forgiveness will be very important in the years to come. With this in mind, I would ask that you move forward in life as positive ambassadors and role models for the University of Hull, as I will be. And never forget the support and sacrifices assumed by your families, guardians and friends throughout your education. It's a good time to say thank you to them. It would be remiss of me not to thank my presenting officer, Professor Brad Gibson, and also the E.A. Milne Centre for Astrophysics for their support. Hull and its surrounding region is fortunate to have a team so committed to widening participation and diversity, and I look forward to being associated with the centre and sharing in that passion. I hope to be able to meet some of the staff and students soon at the centre, 
and I will endeavour to visit the University of Hull when my touring schedule permits. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the University's Chancellor for the honour that she has bestowed on me. And also congratulate my fellow graduates once again on the successful attainment of your degrees. I am proud, very proud, to join you as fellow alumnus of the University of Hull. I wish you every success, every happiness in your future careers. Many thanks.